I don't know whether we're live, but we could be. It's not impossible. Hello, live. everybody, if we are. <laughs> Is anybody there? Can anybody hear us? Oh, I don't know. It's not certain. It's not, it's not certain. certain it's this working. is the pregnant oh, pause. Oh, yeah, it is now. Is it? It's working. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, Jay Dyer. Hi, Jay. Ah, oh, Bremster. Hello. Hello, everybody. I see, oh, I see loads of names, actually. Aspartagus, Peter Venus, Long Peter Tipperary, David Ratner. Good to have you all aboard, it folks. It certainly is. <laughs> Pixel Mark here. Yeah, Pixel Mark. We still haven't worked out how to make him de pixel Mark. Brian, hello. <laughs> five by five, all working. Does anybody watch this evening's video? That Mark is here now. You can shout at him. Why, why would anybody shout at me? It was good, <laughs> Stefan. <laughs> well, it it made my it made my week that I didn't. I always knew you could do it, Simon. <laughs> that I didn't abandon the video, which I very nearly did. It wouldn't, wouldn't have surprised me at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who haven't watched tonight's video, it is well, it's certainly worth. Watching yeah, the very start well done, of it. Stefan. Great that you're here. Excellent. Crazy, crazy, crazy puzzle. <laughs> He's shouting at Mark. Why? Yeah. Well, but for being so mean. So, oh, hang on. Someone's just happened to my screen. This is not a good thing. Oh. Is wow. it working? Oh, no. It's recovered. It's recovered. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Hang on, let me check OBS. Somebody's hacking me as we go live. It looks like it's okay at the moment. Oh. Okay. Oh, David, good grief. Oh, David, thank you so much. <laughs> For me, I control him regularly if that, if it's going to get rewards. <laughs> That's <laughs> so kind of you. Bill, I don't want to answer if I solved Stefan's puzzle because it might reveal how rubbish I am. Whamfire, thank you so much. Good morning thank from you, Adelaide. Whamfire. Oh, 6.30 a.m. You've got up for this. I feel dreadful about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I have to say, please, please like the, um, please like the, uh, the stream. I think that's what you have to like, if you do like it. Thank you very much. Long way to Tipperary. That is very kind of you. Yes, thank you indeed. Oh, goodness. Bremster as well. Bremster. Almost missed oh, this. I'm sorry about the week full of tragedy. Oh dear, tragedy sounds awful. I hope you're okay. It might be about Her Majesty, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. I doubt it. Hello from Texas. Toolcat. Hello. Zetamath, hello. Zetamath. Fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. Everybody's this, well. This is, is uh, the problem with oh, this. Oh, Spartacus! <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> Natalia That's from a 20 Kiev. Delay Good between grief. chat and the stream. Good lord. Oh, thank you, Matthew Bono from Massachusetts, uh, where I was only a month or so ago. Thought bite. There's so many names I recognise in the chat. It's just fantastic. Gabriel Gonzalez. I think I think Gabriel is, or it could be Gabriel, is a wizard solver. Tristan, hello. Ah, it's not Zetamath, it's Tristan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually better in terms of moderation, frankly. <laughs> Oh, Weacock, you're intrigued about that big announcement. I still can't tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Embargoed. Embargoed. Just, it won't be long, though, I think. It's not wholly in our control. <laughs> right. And, and the best thing about this is I don't have to solve the first puzzle. Oh, so I can, ju I can just watch okay. Mark. So it's time for me to have a go at Quizzenair Rods, I think, by um, Bremster. 
And uh, what are we? Moving up. We're moving up. No, we're not moving up a difficulty level. This is meant to be exactly as difficult as the last one you did. Okay, okay. Okay, is everybody ready? Here we go. Are we still talking to each other? Yes. (laughs) Right. Um, Let's have a look at this. So I just found it managed to not read the rules there. What do I do? Question mark. Right. Um, Classic rules. Killer cages, obviously. Partial parity crop key. Cells separated by a black diamond must have the same even or odd parity. Either they're both even or both odd. Cells separated by a white diamond must have different parity, one even and one odd. Not all diamonds are given. I think that's clear because every every two cells would have to be have a diamond if that was the case. Okay, this is an unusual rule set. Certainly not seen it before. And what are we going to do here? I think it might be... Yeah, it might be a parity exercise. Um, Look at this 25 cage. That has got a pair of digits that are both odd or both even. So they add up to an even number and a pair of digits with one even and one odd. So they add up to an odd number. So once we've added those four, we're on an odd number. And to get to 25, we need another even number, I reckon. So now I have to work out how to do the colouring. Even is blue in my book. Um, How about this one? Exactly the same. That is blue. Now, these... Hmm, This isn't going to work. These add up to even. Ah... Yes, okay. These three black diamonds, they can't all be odd, or that would be six odd cells in a box, which doesn't seem possible to me. So one of them is even, but two of them can't be even, because that would be five even cells. So one of these is an even pair, and two of them are odd pairs. Oh, and that's going to leave these other two cells being one odd and one even, which I... I didn't pencil mark in this. So that wasn't very bright. Sorry. Um, Let me try and figure out. Oh, there's a seven (laughs) cage. I'm remembering this one. This is a really good puzzle. I'm remembering it. Ah, That's implausible. Um, Right. (laughs) One, two, four. What does that tell me? Seven plus 23 there is 30. So the secret is obviously that every box adds up to 45. So these two add up to 15. Hmm, I don't know what that means. They're from, they're either 6, 9 or 7, 8. Oh. Ah, 12 cage. Th- those, are, those are even, so that must be even as well. They're even in total, I mean. I don't know that they're both even. 16 cage, same deal. So that cell's even. 15 cage. Those are an odd and an even. So that must be even. Same over here. So I'm getting a lot of even cells out of this. 16 cage down here. Another one, I think. Yeah. Got to be. Even in those two. And again, that's even right. So that's given me four evens in the row. So those are all odd. 22. Thanks, Jay, for the uh, donation three odds it's going to need another odd to make that 22 even so that's odd on the other side of the black diamond oh and this one is odd and the other four cells in this box are even didn't need that white diamond three evens there so these that are the same are both odds this i think we're going to parity color the whole grid simon that's what i reckon that just yeah odd. just to let you that's know mark jay saying um that the donation is to um get you to prank me more often tonight i got a glimpse was... of that actually i just stored it up as something that i clearly have to do so no. that's all good news Not, no. And those two are the same. They must be even now. That's odd. That's even. And we're kind of filling from below like an aquarium puzzle now. Those are odd. That's even. That's odd. (laughs) Um, These can't be even because we've got three evens in the column. That doesn't apply over there. 
Um, I, it's annoying that the the cursor cell is blue. That's getting in my way a lot. I can click outside the grid though to avoid it. Um, ah, oh right, this is one of oh right, one, two, and four have two evens and an odd. So I've only got one, two more evens to put in this row. They've got to be in the middle of their runs of three. Could have seen that at the beginning, maybe. 11 is made up of an odd and an even. So is nine. Oh, this is quite good progress now. I'm not unhappy with this. Um, four evens in column two. So that's odd. That's even. Definitely going quicker than I did when I tested it. Slow down. Well, it's, it's all going to stumble to a halt in a moment. <laughs> I mean, and I've no idea what I'm going to do once I finish colouring. I haven't worked out anything about actual numbers. Now, oh, they can't be even there, odd. One, two, three, four, odd now. These two are the same. These two are different to make 15. So that's going to give us a third even. Oh, these two are the same. Can they be odd? Yeah, they could be. Don't see why not. One, two, three. Ah, oh, I'm getting a bit stuck now. Good, good, good. That's more like it. <laughs> that's what you want to hear. <laughs> I want to just read the chat. <laughs> You carry on. Don't look at the puzzle. <laughs> um, one, two, three. Maybe I'm going to have to start thinking about numbers. That would be a bit of a shame. One, two, oh, I'm probably missing something. Let me just... It's 23 cage. Oh, we know that it's going to contain... What do we know that it's going to contain? It's going to contain one even and three odd. Three and five. Ah, so at least one of these two is odd. That means these two are both even. That's interesting. Um, so one even and one odd to go here. One even and one odd to go there. That is going to make this pair, that's even, that's even. And if that's odd, that's even. So are they going to be the same? Because these are different, and they've got different diamonds. So they're going to be the same. And I don't know what that makes them bother. It's quite an interesting deduction, but I don't know what it gets me. Um... Right, okay, numbers. I've thought of something. These three cells add up to 14, but the four even cells in this box must add up to 20 because they're 2, 4, 6, 8. So that's a 6. Um, no, is that the only place I can do that? That's really irritating if so. Ah, oh, no, these four evens add up to 20, plus 22 there tell the secret tells me this is a three i could have done that more sensibly by working out that was 25 minus three never mind we've got there these two are both odd can't be nine seven they don't involve three i don't know what that means two four eight Six can't be there. I don't know. I don't think I can get very far with the numbers at the moment. Probably have to do more odd even colouring still. Okay, that adds up to 28. Plus that is still even. So these are one odd and one even between them. I don't know what to do with that. Ah, how about this column? Two odds. There must be one there. There must be one there. That's four. So that is different from that. That's not that helpful. Oh, goodness. Um, one, two, three. No, I don't know. Bremster, you've, you've, you've got cunning halfway through here. 
It was going nicely, and now I've got stumbled a bit. <laughs> uh, come on, Mark, think about it. Right. Those two and those two add up to 20. So these two add up to 9. That's not useful, but that sort of thinking might work somewhere. One, two, four. Oh, this pair is a six, eight pair, of course, because we've got two, four in the cage here. Right. So, the, oh no, that's not seven or nine. I thought for a moment that was a duo adding to 15. It's not. Ah. But this is already 14 at the absolute minimum. No, I don't know. That doesn't work. These would be a two and a four. They can't be higher than a four and an eight. 14 out of 30. No, I don't think that's that useful. If that was an 8, that would be an 8. Then this would be a 6. And that's not possible. Right. We've used 1. Yes, neither of these can be a 6 or an 8 because the pair would make 14 and you'd need a 1 in the offshoot and it can't be because of that 1, 2, 4. So they are a 2, 4 pair. Now that's a 2, 4, 6, 8 quadruple adding up to 20. These two add up to 10, and they don't involve a 1, so they're a 3, 7 pair. These cells are 5 and 9. I know which way round they go. have got another couple of numbers in the grid. 2 there. 6, 4. So that's 2 or 8, as is the one at the top. Oh, so in one case, there's a 7 here and a 2, 6 pair. And in the other case, there's a 4-8 pair and a 3. Chris Coye, thank you so much for the donation, my friend. Ah, says, this thanks. is a 2 four, eight triple. There's only one place for 6 in this column, and it's there. And that means this is a 7, and that's a 2, and we've got a 4-8-3 on the other side. Okay. That's now a 4-8 pair with a 2 on the left. This is a 2 because it sees 6, 8, and 4. This is 4 or 8. 2, 6. One of these is 6. That's no use. Uh, Mark, no. can you just run through what the diamonds are again for some new joiners to the stream? Yes, sure. So the white diamonds join two cells which have one odd and one even digit in, and the black diamonds join two cells with the same parity, either two odds or two evens, and not all diamonds are given. Right, so by Sudoku there's a two there, so this can't be a pair of evens anymore. That's odds. Now, there are three odds to go in this 23 box. They can't all go in the top row, so one of them will go there. These will include the last two odds in the top row, and those two cells are even. That doesn't quite make the top right one a two. Oh, this has become an eight. I never spotted that. Shalane, thank you for the six. thank you for the That's donation. Can you share my drummer clip that was on Mr. Beast Reacts but was credited to someone else? They might be getting paid and I'm trying to share to reach Mr. Beast. I wish I could reach Mr. Beast. I don't think we can reach Mr. Beast, <laughs> Shalane. Um, I think we would be as flies on his rhinoceros eyes. <laughs> Does anybody in chat know Mr. Beast? I used to be with that. Mr. Beast probably doesn't want them saying if he, if they do. It'd be quite funny right. if Mr. Beast yeah. was in chat. Now that would be good. That would be good. Um, if that was even, it would be a six. That's not the thing to do. Glum hippo. I like parity puzzles too. Right. I quite like parity puzzles too, actually. Um, that doesn't mean I'm particularly good at 
Seven, six, five, two, four, eight. Now I need more killer help. I need more actual numbers in this puzzle. Hmm. There's a one, five, seven, nine. So there's a three. Ah, the three in row eight has to be here. That's surprising. So one of these is a three. Let's pencil mark that because it's my name. Um, five is in one of those two cells. So this 16k, oh, for goodness sake, that's been there forever. That needs 14 in two cells, must be five and nine. So these are a one and a seven. Three is down there. This is one or seven. Oh. And this six, oh, 12k, so that's either three and one or one and five. That's quite interesting. So there's got to be a one there. Now, what about this pair? They either add up to 12. There's lot, There's two ways of doing that. Or they are... Or they add up to 8. And there's two ways of doing that. That's not so useful. Can I use the fact that there's a 1 here? Okay, it puts a 1 in one of those two cells in box 1. And that puts a 1 in one of these two. And there I run out. Ah, two is in one of those, and it's there. So the two in row one is in the top corner, unsurprisingly. Uh, let's get the pencil mark. Six in this box is in one of those. So this is now an eight-seven pair, making the 15 that's outside the cages in box one. So the cage contains three, five, six, nine. Oh, I haven't thought about the cells outside the 28 cage. Those add up to 17. One odd and one even. Mm. No, I don't think that tells me what they are. Mm. Sorry for being a bit slow at this point. Well, probably not the first point. That sees a 1, a 5, and a 7. It's 3 or 9. That was a 3. This would be 1, 5 with a 6. 2, 6, 4. Ah, don't know what to do next. 3 can't be there. Three's, oh, there's 25 cages. Haven't thought about them. Right, 8 there. These odds add up to 17. Plus 3 is 20 in the odds. That must be a 5 to make the total of 25 in the odds. Ah, oh, I didn't think about this at all. Right. 5 there means these include a 9 and either 1 or 7. What does that That doesn't actually solve this cage. Does it? There's a three in the cage. I don't think it's a maximum thing. No. Don't know what to do with that. Pity. This pair of odds. This pair of odds. Don't know. Um, really? Oh, that can't be a one, obviously. That is two or four. This is six or eight. Oh, six is in one of those cells. That's not useful. Four, eight. This is four, six or eight, just by Sudoku. So these add up to, well, I don't know, 10, 12 or 14. That's not that useful. Seven, eight, two, four. Wow, this isn't simple. There must be a two in one of those cells by Sudoku. Uh, one of these is a six. Two, four, three, six. So these are from one, five, and seven. Right, this contains three, five, six, and nine, doesn't it? does that mean? That means that's a 3, 5, 6, 9 quadruple. So this is a 1 to 7 pair. So this is a 5, 6 pair. That's not 5 or 6. 
that leaves it from one, three, nine, and that one can't be a three on the side. Now, oh, it nearly means these can't add up to eight because they can't be one, seven, but they could be five, three. Rats. Mm. One, three, nine, seven. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, I just think I'm one breakthrough away here, and I could be wrong about that, but I think we're pretty close. Uh, one, five, seven, nine. Do I know anything about this even number? I don't think so. Got four odds up the middle. Oh, these two are one odd and one even because of the 28 sum and the even digit. Ah. Oh, which way round will there be? This, this is one of each. So that'll be a third even on there. So these can't be even. They must be odd. This is going to be it. That's actually going to be important. Yes, that gives me a seven there eight over here which is clearly the even side that's an even and an or oh this must be even that's a six at the top right they don't have a six they're both odd we've got five odds in the middle so that's even it doesn't necessarily make it two but not done it. Oh, my prediction that I was one deduction away seems to have failed. Um, one, three, nine, or seven. No, come on. Think about it, Mark. What's going on here? Three, five, nine. One and seven are down here. Oh, Mr. Mr. Menace has come to chat. Oh, there is one even there. Right, so those are both odd. And that one is a one, therefore. And that one is even. It's two or four. Um, gosh, we are filling up the whole grid. One, two, three. I must, that's even now, because that's what a pair. One of each. This is four or eight. Ooh, okay, 28 plus another 17. So it could be six four seven, six eight three, or four eight five. It can't be six eight three. So that's not a six eight pair. That must be a four. Uh, Thirty two. So these add up to thirteen. That's five or seven. Four there. Doesn't quite make that that a four. Although it's, I think it's likely. One, two, six. Oh, Bremster has me on string here. He's laughing at me. <laughs> six or eight there. There's a four down here. That means this isn't four. Ah, and that means the only place for four in the final column is here. And that might actually help a lot. These two add up to 12. Oh. Still two ways of doing that. That's infuriating. Um, this is six or eight down here. I know that. One of these is a four. four uh, come on, where's the last couple of even digits? Three even digits remaining. No, and one up here. We don't, I don't even know which of those is which. Yeah, this is really interesting. It's been a total mix after the beginning of, of parity and Sudoku. I doubt that's just the way I've gone about it. I think it's probably put, baked into the puzzle. Um, oh, that four is looking up here. That is just boring, boring, simple Sudoku. That means this is a two, four pair. Good grief. OK, got a six, eight pair here. Oh, they're all hang on. Something's gone wrong in this column. Uh -oh. Odd and even there. These two were both odd, weren't they? Because that was oh, how far back am I going to have to go before I did that? 
uh, I need to shout out I've crown. It's a crown icon. Thank you so much for the donation. Love your vids. Unfortunately, yeah. they often make me fall asleep, which is useful if I'm watching them to fall asleep, but very annoying when there's an interesting puzzle that I actually want to see solved. 17. So 6, 11 there, or 8 and 9. Well, this is... No, hang on. What's happening here? Something bad has gone wrong. This has gone all horrible. Oh, how oh. far back do I have to go before I was right? Let's take it to here and assume for some reason I was right at this point. That is evil. No, it's not. That is exactly what is wrong up there. That's odd. There you go. That's even. That's where six is. Ugh. Numpty man. That becomes an eight. This is two or four. Let's try it this way. Right. 28 and 36. These two add up to nine. They're either five, four, or... Well, they can't be one eight. They must be five, four. Yes, the even digit in there must be a four. Okay, interesting. Five, four, <laughs> two, six. So I wish I knew if I was definitely on the right track now because it feels like I've been such an idiot in the last few minutes. Um, that is not a two. <laughs> One, two, four. Daniel, thank you very much for the donation. I did find that funny. Um, I haven't had time to read it. One, two, three. This is much harder now because the error. Um, one even and one odd in these corners. Oh, come on, Mark. One, two, three, four. They could both be even, or they could be one of each down in the middle row. Uh, two, 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 six, eight, two, or four. Wow, this shouldn't be this hard, I don't think. Its grading doesn't suggest it, certainly. I found it, I it, found it quite be. hard, actually. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, it there must be a seven in one of those. Seven, three, five. So at least one of these is three or five. Well, I knew that. That's point of observation. <laughs> Mr. Jungle123 says that Numpty Man is not the most exciting sounding superhero, but the superhero <laughs> we all need. <laughs> well, superhero we all have. We all have within us. <laughs> Only mine gets exposed a bit more often than most. Right, now, what about this 25? Oh, how about the secret? No, it's no use, because I don't know what that pair is. Mind you, that lot adds up to 41. If we deduct whatever this is, which is 1, 3, 5, or 7, we're down to 40. Oh, 34 is the minimum. And that could just be a seven then, only just. And that would require that to be a seven. And that would be a four. That was close to a min-max deduction, but it didn't quite work. Eight is in one of those cells. Um... Right, one of these is odd and one is even. No, oh, no, there's a four five pair there, so that can't be five. I just don't feel like I'm. Oh, I am getting very far with that. Ah, now the odds in this 25 are a one three seven set that add up to 11. So this is a six eight pair in the evens. Ah, well, that might get me somewhere. Um, eight six two. Where does four go in this column? Right here in box six and that's a cell i didn't know it's parity 
it helps with the evens in the row those become odd that becomes even and is a six that becomes odd and is a five if i got that right in the end with the clicking um <laughs> these add up to eight but that's not straight oh they can't be one seven because of that right so they're three five Oh, that's lovely. That's really elegant setting, actually. Um, three, five, six, two, four, eight. That kind of three. We've got one, seven, and nine to place in the box. That's a triple in the column. This is a four. That should have been obvious. This is a two. That's a four. Doesn't resolve one and two up there. Um, this is four. Eight and four, we've got six and eight. Oh, most of the evens are done now. That four has fixed four and five there. So I can colour them. Going to keep the colouring going till the end for sure. Thank Two you. must be on that pair. Thank you, DCAM65, for the donation. Very much appreciated. They say they enjoy the mistakes. One of my favourite videos of recent memory is a gas video from a few months ago in which Mark solves go awry in three of the five puzzles. Oh, <laughs> the I Schadenfreude is intoxicated. <laughs> intoxicating, is it? Yeah. Fine. Right, I've coloured the whole grid. So I must be able to fill in all the blues. I've done it. Bam. Okay, let's get these oranges done now. So. Uh, where have I got a cage? I've used that and that. This pair has to be a 5-1 pair. So that's not a 1. We've got 3-7-9 in the rest of the column. That is a 9. Naked. 1. Um, 9 is that. That's the stopping that being a 9. So the 9 in the final column is done. One of these two is a nine. Don't think I can use the 28 total any more than I already have, unfortunately. That's not a nine. Oh, no, what's that? They're a three, seven pair, obviously. Um, one, five, three, nine, seven. One, three, or seven there. At least I think we're back on track, right? That has to be the same as that. Are we going to have to color? I mean, I've. Coloured the horrible grid already. Uh, okay, let's add. Can I add colour? I'll just make them yellow. Yes, I can add colour. That's lovely. Right. So those are all the same digit. <laughs> um, which is in one of those two positions. No, that doesn't get it done. I don't think I can use the cages anymore. So it's got to be... Oh, look, there's a 3-5 pair looking at that. 1-7 is the yellow flash digit. Right, let's fill them in. Oh, you were not allowed. I think uh, we were told how to, how to adjust the settings to allow multiple entry, and I've forgotten how to do it. That's embarrassing. Uh, that's a 1... That's five and one done. Now let's keep going. That's a one. So that's not a seven. So the seven, that's become a three, right? There are numbers all over the grid looking around it now. Seven there, three nine pair, which helps me fix that five, three. I am going to finish shortly, he says. That's not three, so five or nine here. Six, four, eight, one. Oh, there's a three, nine pair in the column, so that does finish the box. That can't be five, so that's where five is. Now it's just some three, nine pairs. Those ones are resolved. Nine, three. Hopefully I haven't botched anything up from the time when I went wrong. And in that case, this is the finish. There we go. That took a long time. Well done. Longer than it deserved. But there we go. Lovely puzzle, Bremster. Well done. That's really good. So what was going on on chat? I've missed it all. Oh, it's been very entertaining. They all. I think the general consensus, I should have had wine, which I don't have. 
um there's a lot of uh, a lot of love for you giving me that puzzle today, which I'm not oh, pleased excellent. about. I'm not surprised. Oh, and there's an adult dating site that's just appeared in chat. <laughs> oh, but it's instantly zapped by Tristan. Well done, Tristan. <laughs> oh no, does this mean I have to solve Sudoku now? I, th I think it is you next. <laughs> okay. I, or, or is it actually? Isn't there a change in the order somewhere? Oh, hang on. Shay Ganarelli, thank you for the donation. Email. Yeah, I mean, you're that's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much for the offer. <laughs> that's amazing. 67 Pall Mall, I believe, is like a, a very um, I think club land that's got to yeah, be somewhere. I lovely. think it's a wine, a specialist wine club. Um, right. anyway, look, I must, I must think about the Sudoku. Oh, I tell you what I must do. Firstly, in OBS, I need to switch the views, don't I, to my, my screen. Oh, yes. Otherwise, otherwise they just see me bad. not solving a puzzle. Yeah. Okay. So, Which I... was a bit like what they saw for the last half hour. Eric Peterson, thank you. Look forward to the souls each day and sign off from work as soon as they drop. <laughs> Very wise, Eric. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, right, hang on. When is the banter ever nice? No, 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 no. Don't specialise in that. Um, hang on. Let me go to the... I hope people can see... Uh, can Mark, can you check that people can see my screen on the on the stream? We can see your screen. To me, it looks a bit fuzzy at the moment, but that may not be representative of what everybody else sees. Mr Menace... Um... Hang on, let me just... Okay, so there we go. Can you see the... That's a good gag, Rich Morimano, but I'm not reading it out. Um, can everybody see the, the puzzle? Yes. Oh, no, Mr. Well, Menace I mean, I is can. going to bed. <laughs> oh, no. Ha, ha. This is your just fault, Mark. Just as this puzzle <laughs> comes up. Well, yes, if I'd been quicker, he could have watched it. He's cursing me. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the uh, the rules. Classic Sudoku rules. So oh, Weacock thinks it's because I mentioned naked pairs that we got the adult dating sites. Oh gosh. Um, sandwich. Okay, so if anybody doesn't know how sandwich clues work, what that means is that in this column, for example, we have to put a one and a nine in the column somewhere, and the digits sandwiched between the one and the nine need to sum to twenty five. That's how sandwich works partial xv okay so uh x is menace is staying on a bit okay these digits have to add up to 10 those have to add up to 10 those have to add up to 5 not all possible x's and v's are given so those can add up to 10 if we want them to um now let's get cracking i suppose um right okay so this is, I find it, I don't know why, I find it really strange solving on a live stream. It feels different to doing videos. Two, three, and four. Harder? Yeah. More nerve wracking. Um, right, hang on a minute. Let me think about this. So, there's something going on in row two here because a five sandwich could have been a two three pair but can't be in this puzzle because the because wherever the, let's imagine this was one four for a moment that one will be two three so we could never even if i do this in the other way around i could never put two three in the middle of the sandwich so that means that in this row uh hang on a moment i want to restore my pencil marks that means in this row there is a five between a one and a nine and that means, I think, that the one must be bordering the middle box because otherwise, well, if, if I put one in either of those two cells, I can put five there, but I can't put nine in. So I, th I don't really know how to pencil mark this, but I think there's a one in one of those. A, a five in one of these, which puts nine in the middle. There we go, a digit. Um, now we've got a six sandwich in the column, which could be, well, that could be a six and a one, or it could be two, four 
and a 1. So there's a 1 in one of those, which means that's not a 1, which means that's not a 4. Um, oh, and I've got a V in this column. Right, so that's a 2, 3 pair, which means this is not 2, 4, which means it is just a naked old 6 sitting there exactly here with a 1 here. And now I've actually got quite a lot of digits in the central column. So I need four, five, seven, and eight without knowing really anything. Do I want to pencil mark that? I don't know. I've got a peculiar urge to sneeze that I'm going to resist manfully. Oh, let's hope you don't. <laughs> no, it would be a disaster. Okay, well, if there's a one in one of these squares, there's not. It's not. These guys, no spoilers. We don't need them. There's. Um, well, we might, but we don't want them. Um, well, we don't need them. Yeah. Um, so now that there can't be four in either of those because the one must be on the internal boundary. And the one. Hang on, hang on. What am I doing here? No, that's exactly wrong. There is a four in one of those there is no one in one of these and there is no four in either of those that feels better three in this column must be one three nine or nine three one somewhere either cogito good to have your board oh the cogito yeah brilliant setter um Uh, right, hang on a minute. Now, four here. What is that doing? So that's got to be 149. But the reason it's got to be 149, in, in case any of you are doubting that, is that you can make four in two digits, but only with a 1-3 pair. So you'd repeat the one in the row. So there's 149 somewhere in this row. But... Hmm. Okay, I'm now wondering actually about this 30 clue. Because 30 is a whopping... You might need to refresh your pack if you don't see the 500k. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, so the 30 clue, if we use... Well, there is something, there is a secret about Sudoku that I only tell my favourite people. And if you're watching this stream, you're definitely in that set because this is a small selection of the people who would normally watch a video. And the secret is that any complete row, column, or indeed box of a Sudoku must, because of the rules of Sudoku, sum to 45 if you correctly fill it. So if we think about that in the context of a 30 sandwich clue, We've got a 1 and a 9 somewhere in this row. And then we've got digits summing to 30 in between the 1 and the 9. That's 40, which means that we can have 5 outside the sandwich, which is not a big number. So the maximum number of cells we can have outside the sandwich, we could like have a 2-3 pair here, then a 1 and then a 9. But we can never have 1s and 9s in these cells. Now, what that means, I'm actually thinking about that in the context of this, this four clue, because this four clue cannot sit within this box, for example, because if it did, we'd use up the one and the nine, and then we couldn't put a one or a nine in those cells. And the same would be true here. If there, are in, if there is no one or nine in those cells, the furthest apart we could get the sandwich in row one is four cells which would add up to 26 as a maximum, 8, 7, 6, and 5. So I think what I'm concluding is that one of those cells has to be a 1, because they can't be a 9, because we must be bridging with, with a 1 or a 9 into, into this, this box, I think. Which means, one, this is bad pencil marking, but one of these is now a 4, one of these is now a nine. And I've, I mean, I totally don't recommend doing this, but this is what I'm going to do. Hmm. 
now. Unfortunately, so if this was a nine, that could be a one, couldn't it? Or the one could be exactly here. Oh, actually, no. Well, the, ex the one can't be on an X in this. Ah, this is weird. OK, so where's the one in this row? Doesn't it have to be in sort of an extreme cell? Because if I put one and nine on an X to add to ten, that's blatantly breaking the sandwich rule, which says I have to put a digit summing to ten between the one and the nine. So if those can't be one and you can't put one on an X, I've got to put one. This has the feel of setting up some sort of X swing, doesn't it? Which, hmm, um, my computer's beeping at me. Let me turn that off. Um, okay, so if there is a one in one of these two squares, Whichever one it is has, has the sandwich total of 10 next to it, which means one of those two squares has to be a 9. This is very... It's weirdly beautiful, isn't it? It's so strange. Ah, OK. Now I'm going to come and look at this 30 clue instead. So remember in row 1, I was hypothesising I could have two digits outside the sandwich summing to... Five. Well, I can't have that in this row, because if I did, they would have to be a two and a three. And a two or a three pair here or here will not work, or even in those two squares, because that cell will be rendered void. So there is a five. <laughs> There's a five in one of these wing cells. Well, Richard, Simon and I have been friends for pretty much what is it 20 years yeah it's over that yeah. isn't it i think yeah just a little over mm. or frenemies at least <laughs> that's nothing quite as funny as seeing your best friend fall off a roof um, <laughs> <laughs> um anyway sorry let me get back to trying to solve this what's going on then Hmm. What? I think there's one. something similar. This Not your average sandwich Sudoku says Raven creations. No, that's for true. This seems this seems hard to me so far. Maybe that's just because I'm not thinking about it the right way. But in this 15 row, again, I can I can never put one or nine on the X because that would imply the 15 clue should be a zero. So. So that means that the one and the nine have to live in these four cells and they have to Thanks be far so. enough apart to cater for a 15 gap when one of the cells could be, a well, would be a two or a three. So it's not possible to make a two cell gap. We can't use eight and seven. So this is a one or a nine and this is a one or a nine. And then... It's fives again, isn't it? There's something weird going on with fives here. So fives now can't live in any of these cells. So five has to be in the sandwich. Five is um, in a sort of X-wing pattern now in boxes two and eight, which means that the five in column five has to live in one of these two cells. Which... I want to be able to I want to be able to resolve but don't see how to do. Okay. So Right. So again, I think Bob Bobson's suggestion that you do some coloring is actually based on this puzzle. It's just based on you. Oh. I could uh, I could do green colouring I suppose yeah. I haven't I haven't done a sandwich for so long. I don't but... think it was a serious suggestion. Okay, um, I did used to do that on sandwich sudokus. I I mean actually I probably should do that because I haven't done one for ages. Uh, let... 
Um, let me think about this. I'd love to know how this 30 clue at the top works. That feels like it would be a major breakthrough. Um, 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 what is the way to get into this? 35. Which one of these is 4? Whichever one of these is 4 forces the Whichever one of these is 4, forces the V next to it to be 2, 3. So if this was 4, that looks quite quite possible, doesn't it? I really like the fact there could be a... Oh, although hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, that, that, would f that might even force this to be a 5. Day Dyer suggests the best colours to use on stream are red, white, and rosé. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Um, ah, aha, right. How about that one then? That doesn't work. Right, here we go. Here is something. That is not a one, I'm going to claim, because if that's a one, that's a four. That has to be a two, three pair. And we have to fit 25 into this column. And that would only allow us a three cell sandwich, which we could only get to 21 with. So we'd have to put a one or a nine here with another one or a nine there. And that cell would have to be a 10. I think that's that felt right. I'm going to check it though. So if that's one, let me actually put it in. If this is one, this is four, this is nine. That has to be a two, three pair. So it's de this cell is definitely not a one or a nine. So that's got to be a one or a nine. That's too far apart. Right, that's good. So this is right. This is big because that is now not able to be a one, which means that's not able. To, so I've now got a two, three pair here. This is the one, so this is the four, this is the nine. Now this can't be a four, this can't be a one. So this, all right, here, so this is a one and this is a four. So this is a nine and this is a one. These two cells add up to 10. Uh, let me get rid of some of the pencil marking now. One is in one of these. I mean, one is going to be here, isn't it? This is going to be a five. How do I immediately prove that to myself? Um, 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 um. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. Oh, yes, I see how to do it. Yeah, I can do it by thinking about this column, actually. Because if this goes downwards, it would have to go 3, 1, and that's putting a 9 here. And that, that breaks the, all the logic we did with the 10 clue earlier, where we need the 1 and the 9 to be apart. So it does go up. It does go there. It goes there. Now, that, oh, that's lovely. That, so that digit now cannot be a 2 or a 3. So that is a 5, which means that that's a 9 on the other side to make the sandwich total even possible. which now means there's a nine in one of those two cells, I think. Um, I tell you what I find the most disconcerting thing, Mark, and that's watching the chat. The chat, goes, <laughs> you know, and it goes past. And when there's a flurry, you think, oh, my goodness. It flies past yeah, and what, you know you're missing something. What have I yeah. done wrong? But the chat is not meant to be giving spoilers, remember? So maybe it's just having a good old party. Yeah, maybe. 
Um, Simon had a suggested to Mythia Maddock Jones that our previous jobs were dolphin trainer and professional synchronized swimmer. Well, he's got me right, but I don't know about you. <laughs> Okay, I'm feeling slightly stuck now. What can I do next? Do <laughs> now, now people are just chatting flurry to make you think you're struggling. <laughs> That's good. Okay. <laughs> Can I can I double click the oh oh I can look at that that's clever click oh I want it want. to go away now though go away go away oh there we go right so oh okay I can turn them off once I've used them so that can be turned off somehow um this oh look i could just write five into this row sorry i should have seen that this is a this is a good method of finding out what's going on so that gives me a five at the bottom. actually rechecking all the sandwich clues. yeah who knew yeah doing sudoku or something that approximates to it um that's that seems to be done so i've sort of done several clues So this, okay, so this digit has to be uh, adding up to 10 with that digit. So that's an 8 or a 7. Um, now, okay, so this 30 clue, now, it needs a 9, doesn't it, in one of these positions? Because it can't be, it can't be barren. We can't have nothing here in terms of ones and nines. So there needs to be a nine in one of those two cells. Oh, this can't be a one. I don't know why why I've got one in here. That's total nonsense. That would break the thirty clues. The one must go down there. Um. So the one goes in one of those two cells as well. So if this was the nine. Oh, look, this bottom row's done now. Isolate. Only there was a clue in row nine. <laughs> yeah, there is. So this has got to be four. Thank you so much, Isolate. This has got to be it nine. just came from today's puzzle. It says it's brilliant. Simon made an observation near the end, which he glossed over, but he thought it was brilliant. If you make dominoes from C, column seven and column one, they still index properly. I don't remember that observation. Interesting. Six, sevens and eights into these cells. Um... Okay, what do I do now? Can I finish off the ones? That's the question, I think. Yes, yes, of course I can. Right, so earlier on, I worked out that this this row in particular, it cannot have two outies, because they'd have to be a two, three pair, and that would break this cell. So this position for a nine is not possible. So that must be the position for the nine, which seems to require a five there and a one there. So now five has to be in one of those two positions, I think. One of these two positions. Um, this clue is basically done on that basis. This clue, I sort of want to say it's done. I'm not, I mean, obviously I've got to resolve this, but I don't think I can do much more with it. So I'm going to award it the mantle of being greyed out. So the only clue of not, ah, oh, that's great. The nine clue now is useful because that can't be a nine. So there we go. We get a nine here, which means I get a nine here by the power of Sudoku. And I've just got to figure out now Ah, and they've got a nine here. So Sudoku is going to help me. That's now a one. There we go. And that's a one. Magnificent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine. Right, good. Um and okay. And it's a very, very pretty puzzle with some weird ideas actually. 
Now, how do I get this 9 to work then? So this is not 4, 5 or 1, 8. So it is 2, 7 or 3, 6. And that's on an X. I don't, do I? Yeah, I will, I will, I will. 8, 7, 4, 3. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that. That's going to get confusing. I'm going to take that that pencil mark out. Oh no, that well, that is. That's, I'm quite pleased I put that in now, because look, five in this box has to go in one of those two cells. Apparently, can't go here. So it's got. So that places my five in box number three. And okay. So do I say I've done this clue? I'm actually I better not say I've done that clue. I would probably forget what it meant if I just never looked at it again. This ten clue again I'm not hmm. actually no, I, I can use the X rather than the ten sandwich clue now, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. It's virtually just Sudoku from here on in. What? Is it really? Well, I mean, you've got only got two sandwich clues left and a few X's and V's. Oh, don't say that. Um, Sorry. OK, all right, I'll try and do some Sudoku. I don't want to, but probably needs must. Um, maybe it's fives, actually. I have put some fives in the grid at least. Five can't go there, can't go there. Uh, hmm, I don't know how to. Oh, yes, okay, there is there is a trick we can do here, look. So where does five go in box four? I haven't got a clue, except it's in one of those three cells. And the key thing about that is that it's not in row five. And it's not in row five there, which means the five in row five is in one of these three, and the only one seems to be the middle cell. So we could have done more Sudoku. So now these two squares are a seven eight pair. That's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. And these squares are six seven. Ah, okay, maybe I'll pencil mark those six, seven, and eight. That can't be six, I've just seen. So that one is seven or eight. I'm wondering if this is um if this is a colouring puzzle now. This twenty five clue needs ten in those cells. And they can't be four and six because I can't put four in either of them. So there must be a four and a six in these cells. That can be neither four nor six. And that can, oh, that can be four. So six. Good grief. Right, OK. Six can't go there, apparently, because of box eight. I'm actually going to put a pencil mark in there. Six has to be in one of those. So six in this column is in one of these, which seems to put it on the same cells as the five. I get a five, six pair, which means that... So that means neither of those cells is now... Ah! Oh, that's massive. Right. OK, so this isn't three. This is not three, six. This is two, seven. That's not able to be four because that would require a six here. Uh, two would go. So this is not seven now because that can't add up to ten. So now these digits look are relatively restricted. Three, six and eight. So this cell 
is either seven, four, or two. Yeah, you rotten thing. Um, Being mean to you again. They are. Or the, the or the or the puzzle. Um, no, 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 not the flurriers. <laughs> um, okay. Six now in this box is in one of exactly two positions. There's no negative constraint, is there? So I can't rule six out no. of that uh, that domino. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. Right. If that's six four, I can't put four in this column. Oh, the simpler way of seeing that is to say, where does four go in this in this box? Look, it's got to be on the right hand side, which rules four out of there. Which actually is going to be mighty, Felimi. What does that mean? That looks amazing. Um. So this. Thank you, Philemi, for the donation. Found your channel. Found the four. channel a few months ago. It's favourite evening ah. show. It's a pleasure. The, this is now a four-six pair over here, which must be important. So, does that mean that? Oh, that could be four-six. <laughs> There's a very mean comment. This is about Sudoku. This is tricky. Ah, now though, right now those two oh those those two squares have always added up to ten. Sorry, I didn't spot that because of the five. So. This right, okay, okay. Let's try this on for size. That domino adds up to ten, and I don't know what it is, except it's not four six and it's not one nine, obviously. But is it in is it in that sandwich is the question and the answer must be yes because if it's not in that sandwich it forms the outies which add up to 10 and that would lead a, to a repeated digit here this this digit obviously because those two cells add up to 10 these two cells cannot be the same as this now that means that these digits are in here and they're not that one and they're not five or six so that cell and that cell are the same um, and that cell is the same as that cell. So that's got to be a 2 or a 7. And therefore... That's very clever. I don't remember doing that thinking when I looked at this puzzle before. That, well, that cell now, because that's a domino, that's a 10. That's a domino that adds to 10. You probably did it using simple Sudoku at this point. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So now... Uh, no, I can't do that. Uh, how do I do this then? Can I get... Mm, that could be purple. Ooh, that must. So these add up to ten. Oh, see, one of these is six. And the other is the counterpart to this. This is not straightforward at all. Ah, I've not even seen this before. So that's got to be uh, two, three, or four. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Which means that... Oh, okay. That's got to be si that's got to be only seven or eight. By Sudoku, it sees the six. Seems to have to be six, seven, or eight. I've got a seven, eight pair in this box. Okay, I should have spotted that before. So these squares are now two, three, and four. Apparently doesn't do very much. Wow. Um, golly, golly, gosh. The, uh, hang on. Ah, two, three pair here. There we go. Four. <laughs> oh, that's probably caused a flurry in the chat. Um, so. Oh, no, it doesn't give me anything. It really doesn't. So what on earth does that mean? This is tricky. This is tricky. It's tricky. love to know if this this is the only domino I've not really investigated yet if that if that is four six I get a four here I get a six here I get a six here I get a six I get lots of stuff I get six here if that's not four six oh okay if that's not four six then because that so four and six would go in those two cells. So there would be a four, six pair here. Oh no, that's not useful. I don't know, I've not got, I'm thinking I've got to do more coloring, which is a bit daunting. Yeah, okay. So those two cells add up to 10, don't they? Because they must be the same as those two cells. Those two cells, whatever they are, must live in those cells in box 9. So they must live in those cells in box 7. So can they be the same as those cells? No. Ah, right, that's it. Okay, so green adds up to 10. Green adds up to 10. If those are green, then green has to live in those three cells and there's no way I can make any cells there add up to 10. So that's not green. And if it's not green, and green we know is not the same as orange and purple, that must be four, six. There you go. Right, that's four. That's Very six. good. That's well four. expressed. That's six. That's not six. So that seems to have to be six. That seems to say that has to be six. Uh, Thank you, Gareth Dean, yeah, for saying we have charming videos. We deserve 500,000 subscribers. I don't think we feel that, but we have them and we're <laughs> delighted. Okie dokie. And a little bit more progress is made so now those digits i'm wondering if i now have to separate the coloring of these digits because those are obviously green now in row thingy thing row five so do i know <laughs> is there some way that i can that digit is Oh, I don't know whether it's orange. It's a two or a three, and it's definitely one of those, but I don't know which one it is. <laughs> which is a bit disconcerting. Three, 
three or eight, so that could be a purple digit. Four, six. Yeah, I think there's more colouring to be done here, actually. Do I know what that is? I don't think I do. I don't know whether it belongs to green or it belongs to this congregation over here. That's got to be a two or a three now. Which might be important in some way or other. That's got to not be a six. Ah, so I've got a three eight pair here. Ah, so that's that is green then. Oh, I see. I can put six in the corner by Sudoku. So that's a six. And therefore these, I want to say these are both green. Which must be true. So they're both green. And th oh. oh, I've done it. I've done it. I think. Well, let me just talk about. Yeah, that's got to be green. Cause, yes, it is. It's correct. Right. Those two add up to 10. So they're, they're both green, which means that's green. Now that then must be the same as that digit. And the only way that can be true is if it's three. Good grief. That's really clever. I don't know if that's what I was meant to do. It's, it's totally it's broken. It's pretty much. Yeah, totally, well done. Totally broken the way of entering the puzzle. So those are two, two, two. That is a seven. So seven and three and two. This is a three, seven pair. That's three, that's seven. Thank you very much, Stu Warner, and uh, calling it amazing content and helping you through tough times. We're delighted. Thank you. Oh, this is six or eight, so that's even now. That's not three anymore. So this is a two, four pair. Um, that's now a seven, apparently, by our old friend, our mysterious friend, Sudoku. That's a three, four pair. So that's a seven or an eight. That's a three and that's a two. Ha <laughs> ha, this is what these are here for. All of that time spent wondering and now look, that becomes a six. That, oh, that does the six and the five. That becomes an eight. Keep going. That's a four, that's a three. That's a two, I think. Therefore we get a two in the corner, which doesn't merit a song. We get a five eight pair there. Oh, Bobbins, that's not done. Um, oh, okay. What are those squares then? Three and seven. Oh dear, that's not done either. Okay, I might have more to do still. That's got to be eight, eight seven, two, seven eight. Oh, that does the eight and the five at the bottom. Okay, good. Um, this column has needs a seven, so seven, seven, three, three, seven by Sudoku, five and eight. It looks good actually. Five, yeah, 42 minutes. My goodness, that was really challenging, and that was really, really, really interesting. The idea to merge V's and X's and sandwich Sudoku. They're, they're a very natural hybrid, actually. Quality yeah, puzzle. It's very well uh, done, I don't know if it? Mr. Menace is still there. <laughs> I think not. He, he wasn't planning to stay for long. Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry it took me so long. Now, and I think I get to do the next one as well. Oh, gosh, yes, you do. I'm it's so, you next I'm so again. sorry, yeah. <laughs> yes, we, we... A win for me. <laughs> we, um... <laughs> You did it in three minutes, Bob Bobson. I don't think that's mm, true. I don't think truly. I don't think even Tantan would do that one in three minutes. Um, anyway, I've got I've got Piotr V, Peter Venus now. I saw Peter in chat earlier. I don't know if he's... Yeah, yeah, he's been in chat the whole time. Has he? 
he's, yeah. he's, he's about to see me he's butcher been waiting his puzzle. For this. <laughs> um, okay, all right. So play here. Everybody's recommending wine for you. Uh, I, I yeah. should really have some, shouldn't I? But it's a bit difficult to do that now. Right, classic killer. Uh, what else is there? Arrow. Classic killer arrow. So I'm sure you all know the rules already, but arrows add up to their circle. Killer adds up to their box total. There's got to be a nine in there. Let's get cracking. Let's get on with it. Um, ah. Okay, right. So one, two, three, four, five. So that is a string of five digits on just two circles. The minimum I can make them add up to is 15. If I put 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 on those arrows, they would add up to 15. So these cells, and by symmetry, those cells have to be at least sixes. So I wonder if all these have to be different. I always wonder this. It never turns out to be... <laughs> it turns out to be relevant. Um... Ooh, there's got to be there's some. That eight cage looks interesting, doesn't it? So the minimum, what I'm thinking here is that the minimum value of those six cells is 21. Uh, because six different numbers, the triangular number is 21. Now that means the minimum number of those is 13, 40. <laughs> 16. So I think I get another digit from that, don't I? Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, I do. So I can knock sixes out of these. Woohoo! Um, and I suppose because they're in the same row, they can't be double eight. So there's most certainly a nine in one of those, which means that's not a nine. Okay. But I don't know if that's going to work the same way down here. It's not quite going to work. 9 means those have a minimum value of 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. And that restores the ability of these to be 6. Ah, 14 cage. Thirteen in this column. There's got to be a one in one of those four. I'm not going to pencil mark across boxes, but you won't get away with making those add up to thirteen unless one of the cells is a one, because two, three, four, and five add up to fourteen. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. This is. Oh, for goodness sake, Simon. This is set, isn't it? This is set, and I'm taking the pregnant pause and silence from Mark to be telling me, yes, it's set. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Yeah, no, but I'm, that, I'm going to be able to cancel. And I'm thinking nothing. No, I'm going to be able to cancel these arrows right down. Right, okay. Oh, someone earlier. Oh, in fact, look. Look. I have just the things. <laughs> oh, the Scrabble bags there. there I have are. Scrabble bags. Um,. So, someone earlier said, could we do a tutorial on set? Well, I'm going to do a quick one now. So, those. We can describe exactly what those digits are. We don't know what how the digits are arranged in column 2 and column 8. But we do know that they are two sets of the digits 1 to 9. And I just so happen to have 18 Sudoku digits here with numbers on. Maybe, yeah. Well, actually, that one's a bit ambiguous. That's a six or a nine, but you get what I mean. So I'm going to have a bag of Scrabble bag. I've got a bag of Scrabble tiles here that has 18, these exact 18 digits in it. Okay, that's there. Now, I'm going to fill this Scrabble bag with the orange digits. So I'm going to have 18 Scrabble tiles in here with these digits on. Obviously, they will be two sets of the digits, one to nine. So at this point, my Scrabble bags are, have got identical Scrabble tiles in them. Now, I'm going to go in my bag, my both bags actually, and where a digit appears in both bags, I'm going to remove it from both bags. So remember, 
the bags at the moment are identical. So if this digit turns out to be a two in the finished grid, I can just remove two, a two tile from both bags and both bags will contain the same thing. Now the thing a lot of people get confused about is they say, ah, oh, but you don't know it's a two. I don't need to know it's a two. Whatever it is, I'm simply asserting I'm gonna take it out of both bags, okay? So I can do that and this logic applies whatever these digits are, it does not matter, so providing I take them out of both bags. So at this point, my blue and orange bags still contain the same things. Now I want us to imagine that we add up all of the tiles in both bags. If we do that, we will get a number. Now because of the rules of Arrow Sudoku, if I was to remove those three tiles from the orange bag, and just this tile from the blue bag, I could say, although there would now be a different number of digits in my bags, a different number of tiles, I should say, the sum of the tiles in both bags remains the same. So I'm gonna do that with those tiles. I'm gonna do it with those tiles. I'm gonna do it with these tiles. And now we have to hope this actually does something. Philip Newman. Yes, thank you very much, Philip. <laughs> no, it's attempting your puzzle title. I did. What well, did it translate to anything, Philip? I don't even know yet. Now, it's not a yellow bag. It's an orange bag. <laughs> um. Uh, anyway. Okay. So, th so now what we've got left in our orange bag are just four tiles. Look. We've got a lot more tiles than that in our blue bag, but we know roughly what the sum of a lot of the, well, we know exactly what the sum of those eight is. It is 16 and 15, which is 31. Okay, okay, so this is perfect. So now imagine I remove the tiles that correspond to these. So that's 31. The minimum I could make these tiles or these digits be is a one, two pair. And if I keep these to an absolute minimum, remember that our total, the total of all of these blue tiles and the four orange tiles must be the same. Well, the minimum I can make the blue tiles add up to is 34. And that is the absolute maximum I can make the orange tiles add up to. So that is the trick, I think, that might get us started with this puzzle. It's very pretty. Um, and, Okay, right, okay, I can see some more things now. Do I, I don't know if I need the colors anymore, uh, but I've just seen something else which wasn't that, or indeed that, it was this. Because six in two cells is either one five or two four, so one of these digits is a one or a two, that digit's a one or a two, so that seven cage cannot contain a one or a two. So that's a three, four pair. And that's rather pretty because that bounces back into the six cage, which can't be two, four, and is now one, five. And in fact, there's a one in the eight cage. So that means I know the order and we're we're not cooking with, oh yeah, that, that's one, three, four, because it can't be one, two, five anymore. This is a two, this is a one. Um, there's a one, there is now a one in my nine cage down here. And I know that because the only way of making nine in three cells without using a one is two, three, and four, and that will break that cell now. So there's a one down here. Um, okay. And now it looks like I'm stuck. Oh, bobbins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That's a very good set break in there, very neat. Wow, I am stuck. What on earth am I meant to do now? Do I know? I 
know there's a 9 by Sudoku in one of those cells. well there's also an eight down there and the same is true here you can't put you can't hide an eight or a nine in a nine cage of three cells that won't work those these that can't be nine two three four so I sort of feel like Oh, maybe those cells. Okay, so these cells are now a minimum. Ah, okay, well these are a minimum of 2, 5 and 6, which sum to 13. Oh, thank you, Glum Hippo. In honour of your love stroke hatred for Set. I think we all have a love-hate relationship with Set. What I'm wondering about is... Well, especially I'm wondering about this arrow, actually. Because how could it be the case that there is not a 2 on this arrow? If there is no 2 on this arrow, the minimum of these digits is 5 and 6, which is going to make this too big. So there is definitely a 2 on this arrow. And the other digit is still quite big. It's still got to be... I think this has to be a 1. Um, how could that not be a 1? its best chance is to be a three. Yeah, and then it's getting a five or a six added to it, so it's not, so that's a one. Okay, well that's at least something I hadn't understood. So that gets me a one here, a one here, a one here. And a one in one of those two cells. But also, I still think this arrow is more restricted. I think these cells have to be from 2, 5, and 6 now, because they have to be 2, and the next digits are 5 or 6. So this is no longer able to be 7. So that is 8 or 9, like these numbers. And I, know, I knew one of these was a 9 before. Still don't know if I've actually improved upon that. I'd love to know what this is. So this is 135 or 126. So if that's 126, these have to be 345 minimum. No, okay, then that would actually be okay, wouldn't it? Then they could be 15 again. What am I not understanding about this? Probably quite a lot. Ah, okay. So. Tricky one. Meme Rister's in the chat now. Good to see you, Meme Rister. Hello. Got this some great and the good of the Sudoku community. Panthera, yeah. I see as well. Panthera, as I yeah. glance across. Riff Clown. We cock. Um, right, come on, Simon. Use your brain. Um, okay. That's so strange, you know. That's so strange. I literally look back at the puzzle and instantly see things that I couldn't see when I was staring at it before. That's something to do. It is. It's it's a bit like doing crosswords. Look at this column now. I've got to put six, seven, eight, and nine into these four cells, but I've got eight, nine pairs looking at those two cells. Ah. So there are there are six, seven pair, I think. Which means I've actually got somewhere in the middle box. I've got an eight, nine pair here now. Ah, so this is now adding up to seventeen. Which is either one, two, three, four, seven, or one, two, three, five, six. Well it's it's got to have a five or a six in the sum, doesn't it? How could it not have? No, it then would be seven. Well, it's got to have a five or a six in the sum. So it must be one, two. So these are from, well, you know they're not one or two. There must be a three on this arrow. 
along with the 5 or the 6, which means in this row that cannot be a 6 and has to be a 7, I think. That's got to be a 6, and now that's got to be a 4, which means my 9 cages now are not able to be... Oh, that's lovely. So now I've got to put 5 in this column. And it can't go in a 9 cage because that would need a 4 with it. So that seems to have to be a 5. So that's very peculiar because now this also adds up to 17. So these, oh, this is going to, have I got deadly pattern out of this? I suppose it might be resolved by the arrows actually. So it's probably okay. But yeah, I think those squares there have to be 2, 3, 4 and 7 by Sudoku. So the two arrows add up to 17, which means this is not a 6 or a 7 anymore. Now, what on earth does that mean? You'll be delighted to know that Peter Venus was in a hurry when he made this puzzle. He had to sell his house, prepare a holiday and take care of his daughter. <laughs> Um, Some people are amazing. <laughs> and it probably only took him like 10 minutes to make it or something ridiculous. I suspect so. Um, hmm, hmm. Okay. If there's an 8, 9 in there, that must seem, that seems to have to be an 8 or a 9 in box 3 by our old friend Sudoku. I mean, it is outrageous of Peter to make me do Sudoku in this puzzle. It is. It's a blinking nerve right i can't put eight or nine in this nine cage it would need to have a one with it even if it's an eight so that's also an eight or a nine so there's loads of eight nine itch going on in this puzzle can i get the eight nine down here probably that can't be an eight or a nine that can't be i can't put it in there so that's an eight or a nine they can't be eight or nine that Dan, it's an interesting question about whether it's possible to solve this puzzle without set. Um, I do think most puzzles that do solve with Two, set five, can be solved another way. And as your friend says, with massive notation, would probably be the way. But it's very difficult. Hmm. I wonder if I'm meant to know what this 22 cage is now. Ah, OK, well, I can put the nine in it, though. That's certainly true. Oh, I see, and it can't have eight in it. So I do know what it is. I just had to look at it, Simon. So that's got to be a six, seven. So that's not a six. That's not a seven. You want to explain why it couldn't have an eight in it? Just in case Oh, sorry, yeah, because yeah, there's eight, nine pairs looking at these digits. So so once I know it's got a nine in it because it's either nine, six, seven or nine, five, eight. So the nine has to go in the middle by Sudoku and they can't put eight in, I can't put five, eight in anymore. Now, this is all very well. Hot wheels and hold them. Please use this to start my fix my, <laughs> oh, that's very kind of you. That is very kind of you. I would love to get my pinball machine fixed. It's a bit of a specialist job though. Uh, fixing a pinball machine. Um, How long has it been broken for? Sir? It's been broken. No, it has worked in this house. So I would say this is a bad answer, but it's, tr it's Not true. Not since answer. I helped carry it up the stairs, I imagine. Five, five years, I think it's been broken. That's how long it is since I played it. Um, all right. So two, six, and oh, that's got to be a two or a six. So these oh, are thank you very much, two, Julia six, Brooks. Seven. For the kudos as much as the donation. Of, very kind of you. So that this looks like it's trying to be a two seven, doesn't it? But it's not forced. I to hope be we yet. calm the overactive mind. I sometimes think we do it by our minds being overactive instead. Ah, look, I can't put seven ah, this is this is oh, this is it. This is it. You can't put seven on a three cell arrow ever. But I know there's a seven in this sequence. So it must be on the left hand side where it can't join a three because that won't work. So it's got to be seven, two. And that's going to disambiguate at least some of my nines and eights, which feels like it might matter. 
yes that's huge because now my nine cage here has to be one two six that's not six um Oh, that was exciting for a moment. Now that can't be six, or that's going to break that arrow. So this is a two-five pair, which means this is a three-six pair. And the three is known where that goes. So that becomes six, that becomes three. There has to be a six in the nine cage, which is now here. Six. And those digits are, oh no, I still, ah, yes, I do. One, two here, so this is seven. This is two, that can't be two seven now. So the two seven lives at the top, which is where I thought it was going to be. Naughty puzzle. So this is three and six, I can do the order. Six and three go in the grid. Three and four go in the grid. Four by Sudoku. Um, bah, bah, bah. How do we do the rest of this? Uh, that's got to be a seven in the corner. No song again. That's a five in the corner. Still no song. This Oh, look, this is now six. So that's got to be eight. And that's going to get me some of these other eights and nines resolved. And then the 12 cage gives me a four here. This is not seven anymore. So seven in the row goes there. That becomes two. That becomes six. That becomes two, two, seven, nine. This column needs three and four, which I can do, believe it or not. Even I can do that. Eight goes here, nine goes here. This is a three, five pair. That's a something, AKA a six. Um, these are four, five, and seven probably resolved by some Sudoku type nonsense but I can't see immediately how to do it um, ah that six is doing some work six seven um, ah, oh that's done <laughs> whoops <laughs> um, and those digits are oh there's seven eight and nine and there's a seven nine, nine there no. oh has that been there forever <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I wasn't saying that. Oh. Although it has. <laughs> okay, I apologise, everybody, for taking more of your time than I should have done. Five and two, two and one. Oh, come on, don't, don't give me a deadly pattern now. That would be most upsetting. Um. Ah. Why is it not resolved? Okay, uh, that digit is re is restricted. That's a naked single. So that's five, five, three, two. Um, these digits are three, six, and seven, which the six goes in this one. The seven goes here, the three goes here, which gives me the five, the four, and the seven. Okay, so now we're getting there, aren't we? Four and eight we can do. One, two, three and five. So this is a one, five pair and the five goes on this side. This is a two, this is a three, this is a three, this is a four, this is a three, four, one. Lovely, absolutely lovely that was. It was so smooth and I, lo I just loved the way that the digits sort of bounced around the grid. Very, very clever, Peter. Um, it's, it's very well done. Um, I'm a little concerned that you've left me 10 minutes to do a puzzle in a stream in which every puzzle has taken us about 40 minutes so far. Yes. Do, do we start it? Oh, you, you, I mean, you have to finish it. I have uh, to finish it in 10 minutes. Who, who's yeah, it by? A bit unlikely. Christoph. Oh, you, it's a Christoph it's, 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 oh, It probably will be quite hard. That, in fact, I remember that's quite hard. Uh, well, shall I have a go or shall we wait for next time? Is Christoph what in chat? Think? Is Christoph in chat? No, he's not, I don't think. Oh, uh, maybe wait then, because Christoph would probably like to see it. That's a fair point. That is a fair point. Um, yeah, I think I think it would be unwise to attempt this because the, the likelihood of me solving it in the next half hour is pretty slender. <laughs> By the power of Sudoku. 
Oh, Codec says he loves... Oh, Codec. Codec, how hard is the Christoph one in your opinion? Time, t amount of time it would take. <laughs> Everyone's saying go, go, go. <laughs> well, I mean, I could start it and we could come back to it next time. I don't mind. I, yeah, but, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not going to finish it in 10 minutes. Okay. Right. Shall we have a go? Yeah, let me just put you up on the... On Make the... sure you call time on me. Otherwise, I'm in trouble with my family if we go on too long. Okay, I think you're on screen. Yeah. Can um, you see the puzzle? So the rules are thermos on the left, arrows in the middle. Uh, so the numbers must increase along the thermometer. The numbers on the arrow add up to the number in the circle. And we've got some cages which show their sums on the right and it spells 500 of course which is marvellous right Dimano let's says you start. can do it in 15 minutes or less yeah well that's not going to happen let's get cracking Dimano. um i'm going to pencil mark this thermo <laughs> who knew who knew that might happen that is outrageous i know it's extraordinary um seven six seven eight I don't know whether to watch nine. you actually actually concentrate on watching you doing this one. Oh, hang on. I've gone into the wrong cell there. Lost your arm. Seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, well, that's interesting straight away. Look, there's a one, two, three, four, five quintuple. So that's a one in the bowl. One of those is a two. Don't think there's any read across the grid, unfortunately. Um, of course, that's making me look across the grid immediately because I just can't be stopped. My brain insists. No, I don't think that's very helpful. Okay, so there's a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple in oops in box four. Are oh, one of these. One of these is definitely a five. And that means that one of the arms of this goes six, seven, eight, nine. If it went six, seven, eight, nine, ah, if it went seven, eight, nine here, this 15 box would be four, five, six. This would be one, two, three. <laughs> Get a six here. And that would clash with the six that would have to be here. That's it. I'm pleased with this. Look, if this one of these is a five, so on one arm we go six, seven, eight, nine. We must do if we get a five here. And if it was up here, I think it's broken because you get seven, eight, nine there. The fifteen cage has to be four, five, six. The one, two, three here means you get a pair of sixes in row three. So that is not, well, yeah, that is not a six, in fact. And this is not a five. The five in the central box is here. And we can fill in six, seven, eight, nine on the thermo. That's not bad. Right, now, this has to be six, five, three. This is one, two, four. We get a seven in a circle. That's all right. Um haven't learned what the 15 cage is, and this now can be one, two, three. Right, what else do we get? This can't be six or seven. This can't be eight. This can't be eight. This can't be nine. Uh, we still know one of those is two. That hasn't changed. This can't be a one, two, four triple, so that's not seven. Six, eight, or nine. This also can't be a one, two, four triple, or you couldn't fill that in. I'm just going to put six, seven, eight, nine for now in there. Right. But if that was six, these would add up to 24. I'm using the secret now. And there'd be seven, eight, nine if that was one, two, three. If it was one, two, four, there'd be six, eight, nine. And they, yeah, they could be. Hmm. Well, it went quite well for a bit. I'm not unhappy with that. Three, five, six here. Can I use that in these cages? 
No, none of them are trying to be 14. It's 8, 9. I don't know what that's doing. Mm, come on, Mark, think about it. What's going on here? Nine, seven, six, one. Oh, that can't be a seven. I, don't, I hadn't spotted that. This can't be an eight. That's just Sudoku. Oh, does that's oh, so this can't be seven, eight, nine. Therefore, this can't be one, two, three. Is that right? Yes, that is right. So this can't be six anymore. Thanks to Shane Cowley for the very kind donation. It says, bringing order from chaos and fixing the broken. Thank you for the joy and entertainment you bring to this community. You are most welcome, my friend. Right. So now this also can't be six, eight, nine. So that's not one, two, four. And we're getting narrowed down here. Right. So now this adds up to either 24 or 23. This adds up to 22 or 21. 6, 7, 8 would be 21. 6, 7, 9 would be 22. Oh, but 5, 7, 9 would be 21 as well. Bother. Maybe I can rule out 6 from here. That would make this 1, 2, 3 with a 4 there. Don't know why that would be a problem. Oh, what are these five arrow? Ah, these five arrow cells. They add up to at least 15 plus another another three there. Oh, that's so obvious now. That's 18. So we get a three there. We get nines in both circles here. Oops, sorry, I have to do them one at a time. And that makes this one an eight. 23 there. Now these add up to 22. They have to have a nine in. They can't be five eight, so they're six seven. We are firing along now. Now there's got to be an eight in this, um, along with the pair that makes seven. That's not in that bother. Okay, so pencil marking one there, eight there. That's now an eight, and that is a seven. This must be a 6-9 pair. In fact, we know them. Wow. Okay. I'm quite pleased with this. This can't be a 7-5 cage because of that. So it's either 9-3 or 8-4 one way around. Uh, this can't have a 9 or an 8 in it. So it's either 3-7 or 6-4 heading south. 2-4-7-3... Oh, I'm sure there's lots more Sudoku to do here now. Um, that is either 1, 5 or 2, 4. Oh, these now are a 15 set, aren't they? They're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a 6, 7, 8 down the middle. We get a 7. Uh -huh. Can't be on the arrows. So it's got to be up there. Nine, eight, seven, one, four, three, or one, two, five. Don't know which. That can still be two, four, or one, five. But three is obviously on this side. Then one of these three is a three. That probably means something slightly useful. Um. I just don't know if it's a one, two, five arrow. Maybe it doesn't. Six. Six can't be on that arrow, so it's up there in the corner of that box. Now six and seven are both in these three cells. And nine's up here. I mean, this is now the pencil marking is getting a bit out of hand, unfortunately. Seven and nine are in these three. Wow, and they're quite high numbers at least one of them is in a 13 cage there could be both but that seems unlikely one two four seven three oh there's a six eight pair down here that i hadn't seen nine five up the middle column 
these are from one two three and four so this arrow needs a five on it now it's a one two five arrow excellent one two five this is an eight three four cage so let's get rid of the pencil marking um actually i can get rid of the corner marking here as well but that's a one two five arrow so we're left with a three four pair looking up and down there so that is not a four now do i know this pair no yes no i don't three four eight so this can't be a three it's not a seven Ooh, two of three four eight here if that was a four eight pair that would be a three what would be in the 13 cage couldn't be nine three one seven five one it could be bother seven nine five these can't be three four eight because of that but there must be a one or a two in them that's not interesting nine eight seven six um three four eight If you want to stop me at some point, Simon, do, but it's very hard to think of that when I'm getting involved in the puzzle to suddenly. No, you've, ne you've nearly done it. Nearly done it. Shut and, up. And Christoph's, Christoph's watching as well. So I oh, think. Got... Is he? Is yeah, he here? Is he? Yeah. Oh. It must, it must be there. late in Germany, though. So. Yeah, get a one down here. That's true. It must be well after midnight. Sorry, Christoph. Um, Three, five, six, seven, six. One, two, three, four still to place in this column. That's oh, one must be up there somewhere, I suppose. Uh, six, seven. These are from one, two, five, and nine. Is that any use? One of three or four is up here. I don't see how to deploy that, unfortunately. And maybe the totals here. Those add up to 23, which is not huge. If that was 931, we'd have 4, 6 here. 5, 8. Now you could do it. 2, 7. Ah, you couldn't have a 9 in this cage, because 931 there would make that 4, 8 and make that cell impossible. So that can't be a 9. Oh, I'd love to rule it out from being a seven now, but that's a stretch too far, I suspect. I'm sure nine is going to end up there, but I don't have any proof of that. Seven, nine, five, six, eight. So one of these is six or eight. Oh, there's a three, four pair in this row. Ah, I haven't seen that. Everything else in the row is one, two, or five. Um, does that do anything? Doesn't look like it. And this thermo, that can't be a four. I'd forgotten the old thermo. Two is in one of those cells. Don't know what that does. Seven three. <laughs> Rule that out. This being a one two pair feels powerful. Thought of three five six. No. Ah, stuck again. Now, th that's from 348, so is that. So only one of them could be in the 13 cage maximum. 6, 4 or 7, 3 here. Ah, do feel we're close. Do feel we're close. 3, 4, 8, 6, 7. Mm. 
four, six, seven, seven, seven. Two, three, four, and five in those cells. Just mad pencil marking going on now, just in <laughs> case it helps. Three out of two, three, four, five in row three. Oh, look, there's an eight looking at this cell. How embarrassing. Six there, eight there. I doubt that's going to do a lot more than those two cells. This can still be one, five, or two, four. Actually, that does mean that this is either one or four and can't be two. This is therefore one three five or two three four. If it's one three five, if it's two three four. <laughs> one. Ah, uh, it's just leaves a chocolate teapot triple. I think. No, if it's no, that's wrong. Actually, no. This might be more useful. If that's two three four, we get five there and one here. If it's one, three, five, we get two here and four here. This can't be a two. Oh, that that means this is the two. I think I have ruled two out of both. Just want to check that. If that's one, five, two there, four there. If it's two, four, that's a one. Yes, this is where two goes in the row. I don't quite know how that worked. It felt really weird. Um, and again, it probably doesn't actually resolve much else. <laughs> Which is annoying. Three and four. What are you laughing at, Simon? <laughs> there was some debate in the chat as to whether on my screen had frozen because I wasn't moving. And Chip Sounder wrote, he is charging. <laughs> Which I thought was quite uh, funny. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yes, very, very apt, Chip. Um those two add up to six which means these two add up to six that's no use at all in fact, i don't really know how i'm ever going to disambiguate those but that's maybe not a problem for now ah uh, that was a pity it was a good run at this but i might have to give it up today eight in one of those six seven three five nine two four Ah, okay, it's about these 13 and cages, isn't it? One of them's going to, if I knew, do we know? We do, we've got the candidates, haven't we? So this can't be 6, 4, 3, because we can't use 3 and 4. 2, 5, 6 would make the bottom cell impossible. I'm going to go through these. 2, 4, 7 is also impossible. Oh, well, we're ruling them out a bit. 2, 3, 8 would leave four there and make the 10 cage impossible. So there's got to be a one in this cage suddenly now in one of those two cells. Is it one, five, seven, six, four, three, eight? That does look possible. One, four, eight would leave three, seven. That is impossible. One, three, nine, please be impossible. Four, six, eight, five, bother. So two has to come out one end of this. These are from these are either a two seven pair or a two nine pair. And this is either what is it? One three nine or two was it two three eight? No, it wasn't. It was what was the other possibility? Was it two five six? Wait, no. There were two possibilities and I can't remember what they were now. That's really annoying. I think this is going to actually solve the puzzle, but 256 didn't work. 247 didn't work. 238. 4. That doesn't work. I don't think any of those four high numbers work. 157 would leave 64. Yeah, 157 does work. Oh, yes, I worked out there was a 1 in it, so both possibilities involved 1. 148 didn't work. But so it's one five seven or one three nine. So they're all odd. Oh, look at that! That has to be one or three. 
That's one five or nine. And this is three, five, seven or nine. They're all odd. If those were both odd, that would be all five odds in the column. Two, and you couldn't fill. Oh, I may have missed pencil mark these. That's the trouble. If that was one, three, five, seven, nine. You'd get a six here. Yeah, I don't trust those pencil marks, unfortunately. But they're all odd. Is that something I can actually use? Thanks to the Sudoku Skunk Works. They one, say, two, thank you so much for getting us, or getting so many of us through COVID. We would have collectively lost our minds without your daily adventures into variant Sudoku. It's very kind of you guys. Thanks. It is, and I suspect we wouldn't have lost your minds at all. Um, nine three one or one five seven. Ah, so it uses three or seven either way. So this is a known cage now. Six, four. So that's not four. That's not eight. Six three four eight. We don't have a six in those cells. We do. We have a. Oh no, that's not a seven x wing. That's not a six though. Oh, that's three or five. So that's not able to be a three now because there's a virtual pair and it can't be a four. So that's eight. Um, come on, come on, come on. That's a virtual three, four pair between those as well. So that's not three. Now, if we can't use three or four in this cage, it's one five seven or two five six. And it's definitely got a five in, so we get a six down here. Now it's one five seven. Some of seven. We've got a six here. <laughs> Virtual three four. Ah, oh, come on. Yes, we can't have eight either at the top or bottom. Eight in this column has to be there. Right. I hope this is right. Feels a bit of a stretch and that I've rushed it a bit. That becomes a three, that's a four. Thanks to Daniel Litchfield, who's uh, sent in some money for the mandolin fund, or to add to fixing the pinball machine. <laughs> three, five. Oh, there we get a one <laughs> or a nine here. Now, one of those is a one, so it's either one, three, it's got to be one, three, nine there. Okay. Oh. Four, six, eight. That's a five. Two and seven in the corners. Neither of those will get Simon to break into song. That's a sort of and a couple more need. donations. And um, eight there. Org plate. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correctly, but as you know by the regular comments of the videos for the last years, it is very much appreciate what, appreciated what you do. So take care of yourselves too. We want six. you to last as long as possible. That's a six. We need seven and nine in these two. Those are very kind thoughts. And then um, uh, also from Harmic Nazarians. Thank you guys for your videos. One year ago, I couldn't solve a simple classic Sudoku, but now I'm able to solve four star puzzles on LMG. No five stars yet. You know, it won't be long, Harmic. Brilliant. Well played. Yeah, absolutely. Two five pair here. Two five six. We've got one three four four to go across. Oh, that's where one goes. Three, four pair. Um, I think I might finish this. Six, eight, three. He said, he said hubristically. <laughs> uh, nine, eight, five, six, seven. Come on. Oh, thermo. I'd forgotten. Oh, three in that box. Yes. Okay. So that's a five. That's a four. That's a three, that's a four. Uh, four and three down there as well. So this is a one, two pair. This is a three, five pair that I can do. That can't be five. So it's one. This something must be doable here. Three, five, eight, one, six, seven is there. That's a two. 
One, two, never mind the two and the five. I'll get back to them. Seven, two, nine. Wow, seven, eight, nine, three, six. So I've still got these silly arrows to do. P uh, Peter one, Venus two, has four. donated with some very kind comments, which I'm too embarrassed to read out. But thank you, Peter. Oh, go on, read it out, Simon. No, he said that you you're, you're, he it. says you're a real beast and humble as well. You are a real <laughs> beast. He's not wrong. <laughs> Two and one. There we go. No, it doesn't <laughs> like it. Oh no, oh, no. that's what so have depressing. Done? What have you done? Oh, that's so depressing. What's wrong with it? Foster has sent in oh, a donation look, for the Whispering Angel two. Fund. I've mistyped to two. There we go. Oh, well done. Phew. Keeping oh. you fueled for the wonderful joy you bring us all. It was still twenty six minutes. That wasn't quite the ten minute solve I was uh, hoping that was, for. That was a good effort. That took me longer when I tested it for sure. So good effort. Sarah thank Nash, you, everybody. thank you very much. It's um that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that was good fun. Even without the wine, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody, for the really kind comments tonight as well. It's yeah. been very flattering. Yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for making this community so special. It is, it's just amazing. You look at some of the vile corners of the internet, or well, not even the corners, just the internet generally is a difficult place, I think, to inhabit a lot of the time. But this yeah, community is amazing. Thank you, everybody. Mr. Beast was Mark after all. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll be back soon. Good night all. It'll probably be, what, what do you reckon, one or two more streams to get through this? I don't think it'll be one more. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Next time it's Joseph. Oh, that's that. Ah, that's my turn, I think. Oh, I think you tested that. Good, good, good. <laughs> all right. Cheerio. Good night. Thanks, everybody. Bye.